had to clean out my desk and I don't know what's going on with this wallpaper, but it's acting so weird. You see how like the screensaver is like blown up. It's like zoomed in. The reason why I had to clean up my desk is because Lee's desk broke. So she had been using my desk last week since I was on vacation for a few days. I'm apologizing in advance if you hear New York in the background doing his thing. But since I'm using these Rode Mic wireless goes, you probably won't hear anything, but I have to open up the windows because it's been so hot in the city. Like spring came and it's already gone. wondering why I'm using the smaller monitor. It's only because my desk is just too small for the 49 inch. I think I'm going to end up getting the 38 inch version of this current ergonomic monitor that I have from LG. They have a new version of it where the resolution is a lot better. It has more colors and it's more bright. So the background looks really sick. Sorry for making you guys wait until like the end of the video to talk about this new job I got, but I wanted to make this more of a vlog because I feel like I haven't made a walk around a New York City kind of vibe type of video in a while. And I just felt like the weather was perfect this past week. So why not make this that type of video? I also, I also want to preface what I'm about to talk about with how I feel extremely grateful to have the opportunity to not only be able to keep my job, but also be able to make a move internally at the company I work for. So I'm really grateful for that and grateful for my director and my manager and my other team members who are so supportive of me making this move internally. All right, so I promise I'm not gonna be long because I want this video to be under 10 minutes. I've made the move from developer evangelism to developer advocacy. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of context. When I applied to the company that I work for now, I initially applied for an advocacy role. And through the interview process, it was mostly centered around developer experience. And it was one of the most fun interviews I'd ever done and most where I could actually flex some of my technical and creative skill sets. Fast forward to the end of that interview process, I didn't get the job because I wasn't senior enough and they were looking for someone more back in focus. But then they were like, hey, we think you'd be a great fit for developer evangelism based on how you performed in the advocacy interview. And I was like, well, I really like this company and I wanna be a dev network relations engineer. Don't really matter the title anyway, so I'll go for it. I got the job and I started last July, like mid July. Fast forward to now, or we could just say like a few months ago, I started having open and honest conversations about where I want my career to be from short term and long term. Always taking the initiative, but I feel like I was always that person that didn't want to rock the boat in terms of like, hey, I may not want to pursue like the next level in the role I'm currently in. I want to pursue some other things. Now, I have made that known before in previous companies, but that was because I was like absolutely miserable. And in this case, it was the opposite. I wasn't miserable, but I definitely wasn't necessarily enjoying 30 to 40% of what an evangelist role requires. And it wasn't that I hated it. It's just that I wanted to be an advocate because advocates are more internal focus and more product focus, whereas evangelists are more external focus, running hackathons, event planning, project management, and I decided to take the initiative and talk to my manager and kind of hint at, hey, 
I think I want to pursue advocacy or I'm not the biggest fan of running hackathon events. I like running hackathon events like in the midst of it, but the event planning just isn't for me. And then later on, I definitely was just straightforward. My director was just like, hey, I want to be an advocate because we started talking about short term goals. And I was like, if I could be an advocate tomorrow, I would do it. It also made sense based on my I won't say my performance for my first year, but the things that brought me joy and the things that I was most passionate at and probably most skilled at. So yeah, your boy is an advocate, non-evangelist. To some people that doesn't really make any sense or doesn't really matter because you probably didn't know what an evangelist, a dev evangelist or advocate or relations engineer was anyways. And to some of you all, you probably have heard of like dev advocates and they're hella external facing so you're probably like scratching your head like okay wait what's the difference really the company i work at has a very mature developer network relations engineer program so there is quite a difference between being an advocate and an evangelist that's my career update any life updates right now not a ton i have some really exciting travel plans coming up in the next few weeks we've been really busy in new york just with like all the different events friends visiting family visiting which has made this place feel a lot more like home i did pick up some new clothes got this hidden ny hoodie i also have a hidden ny crew neck that you've seen earlier in the video a couple pairs of socks and i think that's pretty much it and i do have a really dope sponsor campaign coming down the pipeline the next few weeks with one of my favorite brands and i'm really excited about this one it is fashion related so i'm excited it's a new spin for the channel but anyways if you made it this far in the video i greatly appreciate you all and i mean you don't have to subscribe and i'm not gonna guilt trip you into subscribing but if you did subscribe that would be amazing also give this video a thumbs up it helps out with the algorithm comment down below what new things are happening for you in this new season of life literally like it's spring but in new york spring lasts like two weeks it's been so hot this is the first time i've been able to wear a hoodie in like a week but anyways i'll see you all soon peace